nothing to do with no covenant or nothing. Right. He was simply a child of the flesh. Go ahead and read on. These are not the children of God. Uh, he said, now they're not the children of God. So, you know, you have people that teach that, uh, you know, that Ishmael is the seed mm -hmm. that God chose. Mm -hmm. But that ain't what the book said. It, no. it didn't say it in the Old Testament, and it didn't say it in the New one either, did it? You know, the, the book made it very clear that it was Isaac's seed mm -hmm. that the Lord chose. Go ahead and continue to read. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Now he said, but the children of the promise, they are counted for the seed. Go ahead and read on. For this is the word of promise. Uh -huh. At this time will I come and Sarah shall have a son. Now, that is the word of promise. Uh -huh. Now, let's go to, uh, let's, uh, let's back up. You know, we're going to just clear some stuff up along the way. Because, you know, people like to go over and Paul's right and mess it up. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Well, Paul wrote this. And what he said was not contrary to what we read in the law, was it? No, it wasn't. Now, let's go over and deal with this here in Romans chapter 4 now. And we'll begin reading at verse 1. Romans 4, and we're going to begin at verse 1. 4 and 1. 4 and 1. Okay, go ahead and read. What shall we say then that Abraham our father as pertaining to the flesh hath found? Go ahead. For if Abraham were justified by works, he had whereof to glory, but not before God. Uh -huh. For what said the scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. So now you, he just let you know, you know, uh, Abraham well, was justified by faith mm -hmm. and not by works. But skip down now to, uh, skip down now to, uh, 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 Verse 9 and continue to read. Go ahead and read. Cometh this blessedness then upon the circumcision only? Now he said, Come this blessing upon the circumcision only. No, it didn't come upon the circumcision only. Go ahead and read on. Or upon the uncircumcision also. But it doesn't come upon the uncircumcision also. Go ahead and read on. For we say that faith was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. Go ahead. How was it then reckoned? How then was it reckoned? How then was it decided in, in modern day language? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read on. Was when when he was in circumcision or in uncircumcision? Was it decided when he was in circumcision or was it decided when he was in uncircumcision? Uncirc Did he make the covenant with Abraham before Abraham was circumcised? That's right. Then he gave him a, a, a circumcision as a sign of him. What is wrong with this statement here? Nothing. It is right in line with scripture, That's isn't right. it? Go ahead and read on. Not in circumcision, but in uncircumcision. Go ahead and read. And he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith, which he had yet been uncircumcised. And he received the sign of the circumcision of the faith that he had yet been uncircumcised. He ain't saying nothing contrary uh -uh. to what was written in the covenant, no. did it? Not one thing. Go ahead and read a little bit more. That he might be the father of all them that believe, though they be not circumcised. The, that he might be the father of all them that believe, though they be uncircumcised. But now... You had to go get circumcised, don't you? Right, but right. he said, now, you know, because he said you'll see and the strange as well, right? Mm -hmm. So now, if you really believe, what did you do? You would go get circumcised. Ain't that's that right. what Abraham did? What he, did. he went and got circumcised, that's didn't he? That's right. So now that's what you have to do. <laughs> this, this does not do away with circumcision. That's what they try to read it, to, mm -hmm. to use it as. Go ahead and finish that verse up. That righteousness, righteousness might be imputed unto them also. Now, let's back up to Romans chapter 2. And we began reading at verse 25, Romans 2 and 25. Mm -hmm. 2 and 25. Now, Paul wrote this too, but they don't ever read you this. You know, they have verses of Paul's writing that they can find. Uh, uh, and not many of them either. Mm -hmm. When I say verse, I don't mean a lot of a few. Right. Maybe about five or six, that is it. And then they tell you, we believe in the Pauline doctrine. I said, man, you ain't read but six verses. Paul wrote a whole lot of verses. That's right. Them six that you read, you messed them up. Look, because they ain't going to never read it. Look at what Paul said here about circumcision. And there's nothing wrong with this statement either. Mm -hmm. Start reading at uh, verse uh, 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 25. 2 and 25. Romans 2 and verse 25. Go ahead and read. For circumcision rarely profited if thou keep the law. See what I said? Circumcision, it is good if you keep the law. Mm. What's wrong with that? Nothing. You understand? I don't care. I don't care how much you get circumcised if you don't keep the law. It ain't going to do you no good. That's right. You know, you're going to wind up in the fire circumcised. That is all. <laughs> you know, when it's over, you know, I'm circumcised. 
But then I lie still and commit adultery all the time. You understand what I'm saying? Lord told you where I'm headed to. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and I was circumcised when I was a baby. I can't remember. That's how young I was. I, it might have been on the eighth day. But I know I, ever since I can remember, I've been circumcised. But yet still, if I don't keep the law, I'm going to wind up in the fire. You understand what I'm saying? So it is good if you keep the law. Go ahead and read on. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcision. Now he said if you be a breaker of the law, then it's like your circumcision is made uncircumcision. You know, it's like you ain't even been circumcised. So it ain't going to do you no good. Go ahead and read some more. Therefore, if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law. Now he's, and now he's getting on them Jews. He said, now if the uncircumcision keep the righteousness of the law, go ahead and read on. Shall not his uncircumcision be counted for circumcision? Somewhat. Go ahead and read on. And shall not the uncircumcision, which is by nature, if it fulfill the law, judge thee? So now they was judging uh, the Gentiles. And what he letting them know is, you know, now you judging them because they ain't been circumcised, but they keeping the law. You ain't keeping the law, but you've been circumcised. Mm. So now, if you're going to judge them, why shouldn't they judge you? Because, you know, both of y'all only half fat. You know, he half fat because he keeping the law, but he ain't been circumcised. And you half fat because you've been circumcised, and you ain't keeping the law. So both of y'all straddling the fence. So now, how you going to judge him? If you're going to judge him, then he can judge you too. Because you only half fat, just like he is only half fat. Go ahead and read some more. Who by letter and circumcision does transgress the law? Uh -huh. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision, which is outwardly in the flesh. Now, you know, he is a Jew. But, and, and, and he is, and, and circumcision is of the flesh, that is good. Mm -hmm. But that is not the, that, the, the, the main circumcision, circumcision of the heart. Because it, it ain't nothing to go and get your foreskin cut. You understand what I'm saying? But then the. The, the, the circumcision of the heart, that is an issue that you got to deal with all day, every day, 24-7. Mm, that's right. You know, once you go get circumcised in the flesh, that's it. You know, you go get circumcised, you cut the foreskin, you know, you sew for a little while, and after that, it's all over with. Mm. You ain't never got to be bothered with that no more. You understand what I'm saying? But you got to deal with circumcision of the heart 24-7. Mm, that's right, bro. Every day when you get up, you got to deal with circumcision of the heart. And every night when you go to bed, you got to deal with circumcision and all. Because yes, right. this is all about keeping your mind straight. You understand what I'm saying? And this ain't just about men. It's about women, too. I don't care who you are. You got to be circumcised in the heart. Yes, so now he's just making a statement here because he's putting the emphasis on being circumcised in the heart. Because he understands that that is the main circumcision. Yes, sir. Even though, and if you really circumcised in the heart, then you're going to go and get circumcised in the flesh. Right, so now. He said, now, uh, he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, but he is a Jew that is one inwardly and is circumcised in the heart. Go ahead and read on. But he is a Jew which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter, uh -huh. whose praise is not of men but of God. Now, whose praise is not of men but of God. And circumcision in the heart did not start here. No. Well, you know where circumcision in the heart started at? It started in Moses. You understand what I'm saying? You go all the way back in Moses, and Moses told you about being circumcised in the heart. Paul didn't start it. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Moses started. Moses was the first one to use the term circumcision of the heart. Mm. Let's go now. Let's go now to uh, let's go now to uh, uh, Ezekiel chapter 44, and we're gonna pick it up at verse one. Ezekiel 44 and verse one. 44 and one. And now this is dealing with the Lord when He returned to establish His kingdom. On this earth, when he's going to uh, put those in the kingdom that he's going to put in the kingdom, and he's going to punish those, uh, and he's going to punish the rest. Now, let's start reading here at uh, Ezekiel 44, and we'll begin reading at verse 1. 44 and 1. 44 and 1. Okay, when you get it, go ahead and read. Then he brought me back the way of the gate of the outward sanctuary, which looked toward the east, and it was shut. Now, this is the, this is the, sanctuary that the Lord is going to sit in when he returns and establish his kingdom on this earth. Because you may or may not know it, but the Lord is going to return to this earth and he is going to establish his kingdom on this earth. And he's going to sit in a temple there in Jerusalem and that is what you're reading about here in this 44th chapter of, uh, uh, of uh, Ezekiel. And the Lord said in other places in the scripture 
that every nation mm. is going to have to come up to Jerusalem.